Hey guys, I wanted to offer this reading for you on this card that I have pulled for the collective. And for, the, for those of you that don't know me, I am a uh, medium and reader. I use a variety of tools such as tarot, oracle, pendulum, ruins, and channeled messages and uh, intuitive messages that come through to provide readings for people. Um, so if you are interested in a reading, you can check out my website. This is my only account. Um, but let's get into the reading. So with this particular card, Blood on the Moon, it's a lot about conflict and protection and protecting your energy. This can mean that it is in the form of conflict around you, like something is going to, uh, there's going to be some, some troubles, some some obstacles that you're going to have to overcome and this could be both externally now however this could also mean on an internal level um, essentially that you are kind of getting in your own way and you are hindering your growth hindering your progression um, not being uh, open or receptive to um, messages and uh, things that the universe and your spirit guides want to give to you or uh, warn you about or hinder your growth. Um, I would definitely say to take this card and apply what feels right to you. If it's something that you have been dealing through more on an internal level, then uh, I would say journal it out. Um, maybe practice some meditation, see what comes through, and sort of begin the shadow work on releasing whatever it is that is holding you back. If you feel like it's something that relates more to an external environment in your life, like a relationship or, or something to do with work or um, like a life decision, and you seem to be getting a lot of uneasy feelings um, around it, I would, again, I would say to meditate and contemplate on it see what comes through in terms of um, your intuition and messages from spirit and I definitely would recommend even just doing a nice cleansing of your space of your area and really sort of putting up that protection around you just to protect your energy and your and for your own mental well-being and the other thing I'm getting with this card is that it's not something that's going to be necessarily very impactful but it's still something that is going to maybe cause a little bit of a shake-up and protecting your energy and your aura in this particular time is going to really uh, benefit you and kind of help you work through whatever it is that you're facing um, even if it's an internal conflict sometimes we are our own worst enemy and we are blocking our own way of moving through things, um, letting the ego get in the way, letting things get into our head, and just generally feeling challenged with moving through things. So I highly recommend, um, like I said, journaling and meditating to work through the feelings that are coming up around these situations or around these internal conflicts and really trying to remain open and setting up some protection around you. Um, if you're into crystals, you could use black tourmaline. That is a really great protection one. Um, same thing with tiger's eye. Uh, you can do a spell to help with protection. Um, even Reiki, which if you are interested, I can also provide Reiki as well. Um, distance sessions, but Reiki is really great for working through um, any blockages that you might be feeling um, that are kind of blocking you on an internal level. Um, it's also really great to balance out the chakras and to sort of help you feel more balanced and aligned. It's not something that's going to be like, it's not something that's going to take a long time to work through, but it is something that is causing a lot of discomfort and worry. So meditate, journal, and really trust in your spiritual team as well as trust in the universe and spirit because you can work through it and you can move through it and honestly 
I'm really getting that in the grand scheme of things that this is not going to it's not good it's not a make or break situation it is something that you can work through rather quickly and of course come out better on the other side sometimes we have to experience some discomfort and some challenges in order to grow and it doesn't always make sense but typically when we have something that comes up whether it be an external external factor or something internally um, it's because there's a lesson to be learned and that more often than not we have to release that in order to make space for the better things to come in so that's that's generally what I'm picking up with this card um, do not let it you know frighten you don't worry about it um, it's a lot about taking care of yourself and just really moving through this these feelings and these worries that are coming up in a healthy and compassionate gentle way towards yourself and to those around you and just really trusting that you are being guided that you're on the right path and that you are you know where you're supposed to be and sometimes we have to go through some uncomfortable situations and feelings in order to come out even better and on the other side and and um, healed even more. Uh, healing is a never-ending process and there's always levels that we overcome and move into and then it's a repeated cycle. So that's how we grow, that's how we develop our intuition, that's how we become more receptive, that's how we learn to navigate you know the 3d world and we can definitely work through it we just have to have some faith in ourselves and that we are always supported and that things are always happening in our favor and for our greatest good and to help us come out on the other side even better than we had thought so let me know in the comments if this card resonates with you. You can either just drop a comment or a purple heart or a heart emoji, whatever you want. Um, and if you are interested in a distance Reiki session or a EFT meditation session or an in-depth reading um, using a variety of tools and channel messages, then please feel free to send me a DM or you can book through my website. I will post the link. <coughs> Excuse me. I will post the website in the little paragraph on the video and I hope you have a fabulous day. It is a new cycle now, new energy for um, a few of the signs, Aries, I can't remember the other ones but I'm an Aries. <laughs> We've kind of come out of the um, karmic cycle so that's phenomenal and really just embrace the changes that come in and know that you are strong and that you are enough and that you can overcome anything sometimes it is difficult to work through the ego but it can be done and we have to sometimes step out of our comfort zone to get there but it is so worth it i have so much faith in you guys and uh so does the universe and i'm always here to offer support in any way that i can um but yeah, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and let me know if this card resonates with you or if I can help you any further with guidance or healing. Have a beautiful day.